We already have school closures because of Hurricane Jose's effects. Cape Hatteras Secondary School and Cape Hatteras Elementary School will be closed today. Dare County officials tweeted the notice last night. They canceled classes because of the effects of Jose along the Outer Banks. And happening right now, we're just starting to feel the impact of Jose. All weekend, lifeguards had the red flags flying at the Virginia Beach oceanfront. The waves are so strong, it is just too dangerous to swim right now. 10 on your sides, Rico Bush is back out there this morning, and we do expect conditions to get worse. Rico, how's it looking right now? Well, Lexon, it is pretty dark outside right now, but we are seeing some of those conditions that forecasters are warning about. Behind me, you may be able to make out some of that rough uh, surf and rip currents. Uh, beach officials say they don't want anyone to swim in those type of conditions. If you are out, lifeguards say they want you to make those safe decisions. We've been seeing the dangerous conditions at the beach uh, all weekend, and it is going to get worse, as you mentioned, over the next couple of days as a storm turns off the east coast. Lifeguards say think twice before heading into the water and take the warning seriously. They want people to enjoy the beach, but also go home safely. I may not actually get in and swim, but that's perfectly okay with me. <laughs> you know, we're trying to stay as, as safe as possible yet, though, and still enjoy our vacation. As we mentioned, red flag warnings are up at the beach. They will likely be up for the next couple of days as Jose swirls up the East Coast. Now, beach officials say starting this week in particular, it may be risky to get in the water, and that is regardless of the storm that's here on the East Coast, and I'll explain why at 530. For now, we're live in Virginia Beach. I'm Rico Bush, 10 on your side.